G'day guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Carl Jockamson here. Today we're out on the water and I am going to sort out the number one question that I get asked is how to set up my Hummerbird 360. So let's get into it. So right here, have a look at my perfectly set up 360. I'm seeing isolated individual stumps and brush piles with the waypoint marks on them. I'm actually seeing bait and fish out here on the outside, but this is like the prime area and I want it to show crystal clean like this. So I'm gonna actually set this back to default settings and then go through the process of exactly how I set it up. Let's, let's do it. Okay, so everything has been set back to default mode, uh, and so everything's clean. This is how your the unit is going to look when you first get it. You're going to turn it on, and we're going to put it on straight on to 360 imaging, and this is how it's going to look. <clears throat> so, as you saw from the first one that you that you saw, is a lot different, and a lot of people will keep it on this. It looks great, and it is fine. You can zoom it in. This is full screen, but you're not utilizing the full 10 or 12 inch screen by having that just that cone because generally I'm moving forward and I want to see everything that's to my right and left and front and most of the time you're moving forward and so whatever is in front is eventually going to be behind you and you've already seen that so I want to utilize the screen so what I'm going to do first up is I'm going to hit this 360 view right here. This is going to drop down this menu. It's going to give you full 360, which is what it's on right now. It's going to give you an option for front view, left view, right and rear view. What I'm going to do, number one, is I'm going to hit it on front view. Then bang, look at that. You've just, now you've gone from a, a circle trying to be in tight on that 12 inch screen to the entire uh, 360 and the entire 12 inch screen being utilized and that's just zoomed everything up it's given us a way better view a clearer view of everything and then I, I can actually zoom in from there and just get blown up crystal clean images of all of these stumps and fish so now this is the perfect view we've got the, the big 360 we've got it out to 80 feet so this is the number one view that I'm going to use pretty much 100% of the time. Next setup is going to be our color palette. I'm going to hit this up here, the top, it's going to give us a drop down of every color that you can utilize for 360. And all of these are pretty amazing and work in different scenarios. But color palette two is definitely the most popular and then color palette three for when I really want to find uh, coloring and images and sort of showing so every different lake it, every lake is different the water clarity and so I will look at each color I'll be like what does that look like and I actually like color palette too here it's bringing up the bait and the fish and the structure a little bit cleaner so now I'm gonna go with color palette two two or three generally on 360 are the best second I'm gonna come over here and hit the menu button it's gonna drop down here and you're going to be looking at 360 speed. So this is the rotation of the 360 as it going around. The faster you run this, the more the, the faster the image you're going to have and it's going to update faster, but it's not going to give you as a clear pif picture perfect. But when I'm moving on the bank, I want it to be updating continually to giving me that new information. So when I'm running down the bank and I'm casting at structure and I'm moving on my, on my Ultrex, I'm gonna run it on four, possibly five. Now, when I'm slowing down and I'm fishing structure and I wanna see those fish, I wanna see this tiny little increments bait, every little thing, I'm gonna slow this speed down to three or two. and as that starts to slow down everything's going to become super crisp and clear and that's how you're going to get those perfect images that you see the pros have next is going to be 
sensitivity. This is a big one, and this is gonna play at every different lake. So the cleaner the lake and the cleaner the water, the higher you can have that sensitivity. And so I can turn this right up until it starts to get sort of almost blown out, as you can see. So now I'm just gonna start to work my way back from that. Get it to the worst part, and then back it off until you start seeing everything nice and clear. And it's looking like 11 to 12 is gonna be my ideal sensitivity setting for this lake right now. And then next one is contrast. Again, I'm gonna turn it up and you're gonna see everything start to pop. And see, look at these fish right in here. There's these fish sitting off that bit of structure and they just jumped. So 13 is now my preference on contrast, but I'll tend to do the same thing. Crank it right up till it gets too much and then back it off to the perfect setting. So we're getting very close to how most pros have it set up. The final one is your range. So the range is at 80 feet right now, the outside ring. Um, and so pretty much the shallower the water I'm in, the, sh the the smaller I'm gonna have the range, 70 to 60 feet when I'm in like 10 foot or less. And then when I'm out and I'm out on flats, ledges, deeper water, I'm gonna crank this up to 80 to 100. They're gonna be my two ranges. I love 80 for general fishing, and then I love to crank it up to 100 when I'm really searching for every little bit of structure. Um, so we're only in shallow water here, 15 feet, so I'm gonna back it down to 80 as that seems to be optimal for where I'm fishing right now. So as you can see right here, this is what 360 is all about. All around us, there's zero chance of catching a fish, except for right there. And I can make pinpoint casts at 30 feet to my right and hit those big tree stumps and brush and catch giant fish and I know I'm wasting my time casting anywhere around it and that's what 360 is all about right there so hope that uh, helps you guys set up your 360 and having it looking like the pros and go out there and catch some big bass utilizing hummingbird 360 mega imaging